It's me, it's me, it's Rusty T, yes indeed. Mm. Mm. I was just out in Fredericksburg, got a little recharge here with this. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I have solved the pyramids. So uh, we'll have a little fun first. Here's a gyroscope. We're gonna get this thing rolling, okay? Oh, first let me show you something with this gyroscope. It's, this is a neodymium magnet. It's pretty strong, it's got 300 pounds pull. It's three inches by one inch. And this gyroscope is non-magnetic as you see. It will not stick in any, there's no part of it that's magnetic, like these steel balls. Okay, and we're gonna get to the pyramid thing here in just a second. Yes, feel it. Feel the power building in this gyroscope. Okay, it's going now. Okay, check this out. Here's the knot, you know, has no attraction to the magnet, right? Right? What just happened? Hmm. It has no attraction to the magnet. I'm gonna tell you how the pyramids were made. This thing's still gonna be going. And it's not magnetic. All right? The pyramids were made by changing the dielectric incommensurability of each block so that it became a magnet. What do you... This is a very strong neodymium magnet. What do you think, what kind of metal's in there? It's ceramic, okay. <clears throat> this thing's still spinning, by the way. I told you, I'm gonna explain the pyramids before this thing's even done. This, and it's not magnetic, is it? This gyro. When your anti-gravity stuff starts coming out in a few years, you're going to start going, oh, I should have listened to Rusty T, but it was put together like magnets. Like you'd put them together on your refrigerator or whatever when you get a bunch of those magnets and you start putting them together. Well, if I took these BBs out of and stuck them on this magnet, I could just pile them up into a pyramid right there. I mean, that's not exactly how they did it, but you can induce the magnetism and then you can take the magnetism out. There is no qualitative difference. If this were, before this was magnetized, this was this. Then it was magnetized in the same way that, uh, say, this is magnetized. Okay, put a little electricity in there and it becomes magnetized on a wavelength that uh, causes illumination, but that's another story. Anyway, that's how the pyramids were made. Okay, let's get this thing to stop. All right, I told you. I'll tell you how the pyramids were made by the time I was... This thing was done spinning. Wait a minute. It's spinning the other way now. It's going faster. <laughs> 